Red alert, red alert. Welcome, quitters, to Quidtastic episode number 23 or Quidtastic short number two. Thank you so much again for those that have been watching previous episodes. I really, really, really love your support and hope you continue watching. And if you have any questions or ideas for episodes or anything that you want me to cover, please leave a comment in the section below. All right, a few things to cover quickly today. Trexels, Star Trek, coming soon next week. We have the full mission plan for the Trexels. And again, lots of different events here, different levels, different awards I talked about in the last episode. If you want to read through that, it's right on the Quid app or on the Medium press release. Again, I will casually participate, but I'm not going to go hardcore on this simply because of the after effects of the Manchester set, which I've gone through many times. Quid has mentioned in their Twitter that they are, or they asked users for which item, which character, they want to see energized. And there was a little poll that they did, a lot of different choices, and eventually Spock, the Voyage Home Spock, was the winner. So I'm guessing in one of the sets or as one of the awards, the energized Spock will be amongst those that are chosen. I know the fan favorite for a lot of people was the Tribbles. I personally thought the Tribbles was going to walk away with the win here. I voted Gorn. I like the Gorn character. There's not a lot of Gorn cards out there. There's tons of Spock and there's a whole set dedicated to Tribbles. So eh, I went for the Gorn character. But who knows, eventually all of them might be covered as uh, energized characters down the line. So Star Trek Trexels coming soon to an app near you. And in other news, Quid has announced a new partnership with Jim Henson's company regarding the Dark Crystal. Now, this is a movie from a long time ago. If you haven't seen it, I'm sure you could find it somewhere on the uh, internet sphere. Go watch it. Great movie. And apparently these new collectibles will bring the Dark Crystal universe and characters to life in digital and blockchain collectibles. So this is what Quid posted on their Twitter page today. Again, a press release about this new partnership. If you want more details, go check it out. Some of the highlights is that the first drop will feature a limited series of cards and collectibles showcasing the film and the journey of Jen that will serve as the gateway to the entire Dark Crystal universe and unlock unique events and coveted merchandise. The first collection will drop soon. And again, it's no secret I've said in the past, I'm not a pro on NFTs and the blockchain. I'm not too hyped up about this. If it's just regular collectibles, I may get a few. But the whole minting and NFTs, well, first of all, it's not out there yet. Quid has not made this available with the Atari collection. So we don't know how it's going to go with Dark Crystal. And secondly, and this is unfortunate, because of mistakes in the past, I'm always hesitant to buy into this new shiny concept. So again, Quid, you have to prove it to me that you can be reliable and stable and trustworthy with a set before I start kind of buying in to this new concept. So we'll see how it goes. It's promising. It's better than nothing because we've had almost two weeks now of no new set releases. So with the Trexels coming out and the Dark Crystal partnership uh, with the Henson Company, at least it's encouraging. But again, you've got to earn back that faith and trust from your consumer base. And finally, I just wanted to replay a little clip from the last AMA with Quid Michael and Quid Sam, 
regarding the burning process of your collectibles. So let's watch this clip a couple minutes. There's another question over here in Discord. It says, has any thoughts been given to making burning credit primary market only? Mm. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, I don't, it, it's just, it's just funny. You guys are pulling, you're pulling questions that uh, I've been talking about all day. So, um, yes, that is something that uh, I think would be uh, really great for the community. I think it'd be um, incredible for collections. Um, and it is something that we're thinking about doing. So stay tuned on that front. And I left the full link to the full AMA in the description box below the video if you want to check out more of that. But I wanted to bring this up because as a collector and as someone who has burned a fair amount of prints, one thing that kind of caught my attention is that there's a possibility that they may not allow you to use your burn credit for aftermarket purchasing. Now, if I understand correctly, when they said you can only use burn credit for primary market, to me, that means new packs, new collectibles. So the Dark Crystal, the Trexels would be examples of where you can use that credit. As a collector, I kind of don't like that. I understand why they're doing that because of the manipulation and washing of credits and all that kind of stuff. But as a collector, I kind of want to buy some of my grails that are 50 bucks, 80 bucks, 100 bucks. And if they don't allow you to use your burn credit to buy aftermarket items, then I'm less likely to do that because then I'd have to spend my real cash to do that. So hopefully, you know, they'll give us some warning on that. So those of us that want to use their burn credits on aftermarket items have a little bit of time to do that. But if you're sitting on a lot of store credit, you might want to use it very soon on some of those collectibles that you've been wanting for a long time, but haven't really pulled the trigger yet. Uh, because in the near future, you may have to use real cash or items that you sold cash to purchase those grails that you've always wanted. All right, guys, that's going to do it for another episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And again, be nice to yourself and be nice to someone else as well. Go through your Marvel, pick someone out, send them a couple Marvel items that they may need. You might just make their day. Go ahead, go do that right now. I'm going to send a couple out as well. Find a user you want to send them to. I'm going to send a couple to Susie here. Click on their name. Click on their items. Go up to the magnifying glass. You want to exchange from you to them. I always like to pick items that I have duplicates of, items that they need, and go through and select a couple things you want to send them. So I'm gonna send Susie a couple items that she doesn't own yet. We'll send her this one here. Switch prints, pick a print, and transfer. Find the name. There she is, and confirm transfer. Easy to do, guys. Collect what you love, love what you collect. We'll see you in the next episode. Band, take us out.